Sometimes we just need a subset of a larger data set for quick analysis. And one of the approaches could be to read the whole data in memory first before getting your sample. And this can be problematic because it can require a lot of memory depending on how big your data is. Also, um, it can take significant time to read your whole data set in memory. And to solve this issue, Pandas provides a enroll parameter um, that can be used while reading your data. So um, let's start how it works to see how it works. So let's first import your library import pandas as pd. And also we will need an additional library so that we can um, estimate the execution time when reading the data set because we will have to compare um, which one takes a long time to execute reading the whole data set in memory and also reading the sample size like the sample of data using n rows to do that there is a library called um, load exec execution like execution time to read this library, just write load x, load x, and auto time. Okay. When we have that, the name of the data we'll be dealing with is let's call it large data, and it is diabetes, diabetes benchmark, benchmark data.csv okay so this is a data set here the name of a data set we'll be working with okay and let's go okay the sample size is sample size let's consider reading 400 observations from the whole data sets so the first approach let's say approach number one approach number one which is to read the whole data set first before getting the sample so the read whole data whole data equals pd dot pandas dot read csv panda dot read csv and we just give a name of a large data which is the name of the file. Once we have that, since we're only interested in getting the sample of a data, then we can say sample data equals this read whole data dot head. Let's take the first 400 observation and sample size. Okay, then we have that. Let's run to see how long it takes. So we can see that the execution time is overall 4.34 34 seconds, okay? Then let's go with the second approach, um, approach number two. The approach number two is to read um, the sample on the fly. We are in the sample on the fly, meaning that we are going not like we will not read the whole data set in memory, but we will get the sample of data while reading the data. Okay, so what we do is create a variable called read sample. This variable read sample, what we do, we call again pandas.read csv read csv the first thing is the name of a file that the name of the data that we're interested in reading which is the same large data and one additional parameter that will be useful here is the number of rows okay we're interested in reading while um, getting the data then here it is sample size sample size yeah, and then we're done, okay? So let's run this to see how long it takes. So as you can see, this one takes only 12 
4.5 milliseconds compared to 4.34 seconds this is totally different in terms of execution time and let's see if like compare our two data set to make sure that we have exact same data set with two data set okay so what we can do here is to um check if our data sets are the same okay so let's call the first data set sample data dot sample oh that was sample data but anyway sample data that um, equals their read sample okay not read sample read sample so what we're trying to do here is to check whether the first data set we read using the first approach is the same with the second data sets using on the n row of parameter so this result is going to be true if these two data sets are similar otherwise it will be false so okay so you can see here true the result is true and the execution time is 12.8 milliseconds so yeah that's all for this video if you're interested in my future videos um please do subscribe and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye